Imagine you're in a fantasy world and your tank is a bunny girl that beats people up with a walk. Well, that is the case for Cocoa. She is the best tank in the game. So let's talk a little bit about if you should pull, if you should not pull. Is there any consequences on skipping this banner and waiting for something else like a Kanbe, for example, and Homa? Or what is the priority right now? Before we start, as usual, leave a like, subscribe, help me grow the channel. And let's first go here, okay? Because this is important. Banner history. Once again, we're skipping a lot of banners. So if you want to pull for Cocoa, we do not know when she's going to be coming back. On the Taiwanese version, she doesn't have a rerun until literally two banners ago. Right now, she's getting her first rerun in the Taiwanese server, meaning we don't know when you're going to be able to pull for her a lot. So as you can see, a couple of weeks ago, she got her first rerun ever. Meaning if you're planning on pulling for a bladder team, now is the best time. Because on the global version, right now, we have Momo and Lily Will, and you'll also be able to obtain Cocoa. So you have your full team ready right there. After that, let's go into the tier list because this is also important. Right now, not only in the global version, but in the Taiwanese version, Cocoa is the strongest tank, and we could move Magnus to T1 just because how strong she is in comparison to absolutely every other tank. Lila is more PvP, even though she's pretty good with the grouping. You have Maita for free with multiple copies, Nergal, Tedon, and then you have, of course, Alexia and Magnus. But she is so good, she could stay alone in T0, and we could move Magnus down. Now, if those are not reasons enough for a meta player to pull, Sefi, how does she work, and why she's so damn good? So let's talk a little bit about that. Let's start with her trait, how her heal work and then tomorrow i will make the full build talking about alternatives for gear but what you have to understand is that her healing scales off with max hp meaning not only her passive increases this effect her hp is increased by 20 percent but you can also further increase this with items like the brutal axe which will increase further her hp and items like the crystal burst armor which will further also increase this max hp giving you bigger heals those are the best items for her but of course, Beast, there is a lot of alternatives. We'll talk about those tomorrow. Let's talk about her kit first, okay? First of all, her passive. As you can see, she has block. HP is increased by 20%. And at the start of each round, she will grant breakfast to two allies with the lowest HP. Whoever gets breakfast will be healed at the start of the turn and get one deep of the spell. That is why she's so strong, because she's providing these spells for two characters at all points. Not only that, but after breakfast or bento effect is triggered, the target will also gain happiness, meaning you will also reduce energy consumption by one and your cooldown will be reduced by one turn. So not only she is the best tank, she will be at the front lines every single time. She is healing your allies, she is reducing the energy consumption and also providing cooldown reduction. She is that good because of this. Now, as you can see, at 5 stars, this applies to 2 allies. But when you get her with 1 star, this will be only be applied to 1 character with the lowest HP. So you need to get at least 3 stars in order to be providing this. And as you can see, happiness has only a 30% chance until you go to 5 stars, where this becomes 100%. This is why people say that she is high investment. Because happiness will not be broken unless you have 5 stars at 100% chance. It's only a 30% it does not change no matter how many dupes she has until 5. Now, does this, does this mean that she will not work at 1, 2, 3, or 4 stars? Absolutely not. She is still the best tank in the game by far. And again, we'll talk tomorrow about her whole kit so you can see why she is so good. But it's mostly because her tanking is completely overpowered and she's providing this bento for the allies which will recover even more HP and dispel 2 debuffs instead of not only the one that she can dispel with her passive. So you're, you're getting happy which will be giving you energy consumption reduction, cooldown reduction, will be also providing you with breakfast or HP recovery plus dispel debuff, and if you have a bento, this will be going into a 25% plus 2 extra. This is completely overpowered. That's why she's so In my opinion, if you are planning on building a team for bladders, now is the time to be pulling. It's the best time to pull, actually, because you can get Momo, you can get Lily Will on the global version, and now in a few hours, you'll be able to pull as well for the color. So all in all, she's a really, really powerful character. Also, a small update on the content creator uh, program stuff. Right now, we're not going to be able to show anything else, since we're going to be getting an updated NDA and some conditions for the content creator program, 
which I think it's fair to avoid Moe drama like the one we have this week. Now, all that said, like I was saying, if you're planning on building a bladder team, and even if you don't like a bladder team, just talking uh, purely from the meta perspective, it is the time to be pulling for a good unit. Now, if you're waiting for August, we're all waiting for him and Safiya. Right now, it's Copium, since most likely next we're getting a Gambit. If we're getting a Kambe, I will say 100% pulling for Cocoa is better. If we will be getting Homa, and then it will be different because it really depends what you want to build. But for now, it looks like it's going to be a Kambe after this. So, should you pull for Cocoa? In my opinion, yes, one copy will be helping you out. Now, when it comes to my own account, tomorrow we're going to be pulling on a stream when the banner drops, or most likely when I start the stream a few hours afterwards, trying to go just for one copy. I have guaranteed SSR at six multis. I hope I get it before because I don't want to use a lot of gems. So all that said, that's going to be it for this small video, if you should be pulling for her or not and why she is so good. Tomorrow, full build explaining the gear, alternatives and what skills you should be picking in my opinion and what are the best ones. All that said, it's going to be it for this one. Love you all bosses. Have a good day. Good luck with your pull dinner rates. I'll see you in the next one. Bench bambuts will kill it to a cool you could have.